Hi everybody, welcome back to LearnBiology.net. I'm Frankie, and in this lesson, we'll take a look at some coenzymes, which are non-protein organic molecules that play pivotal roles in metabolic pathways such as photosynthesis and cellular respiration. Okay, let's get started. Your learning outcomes this lesson are, number one, understand that a coenzyme is a molecule that in some way helps an enzyme. And number two, give examples of coenzymes and how they are used. So by now you know that enzymes are proteins that catalyze chemical reactions within cells. You'll also know that enzymes can be affected by other molecules which can bind to them, alter their shape and in turn their behavior. Remember non-competitive inhibition? Well, you may also remember that enzymes are also sensitive to fluctuations in environmental conditions such as changes in temperature and changes in pH, both of which can denature enzymes. So, enzymes can be pretty sensitive, and you'll know too that they are very, very specific. So, what then are coenzymes, and how do they affect enzyme activity? Coenzymes are non-protein organic molecules that aid, in some way, the action of the enzyme. Coenzymes typically assist the enzyme-substrate interaction by means of donating or accepting particular chemical groups. One of the most important coenzymes is the electron acceptor NAD, or nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. For example, in many enzyme reactions, electrons, often along with protons, hydrogen ions, can be passed from the active site of the enzyme to NAD. NAD becomes NADH, or reduced NAD, which can now carry the electrons to a different enzyme. Here, we see in step one, an enzyme binds to its substrate, and since this enzyme has a binding site for NAD, it can bind to the enzyme too. Notice that the enzyme's active site and NAD binding site are very close together. Step two and the enzyme substrate complex is formed and the enzymes also bound to NAD. In step three, a redox reaction takes place as NAD accepts the hydrogen, which is transferred to it from the substrate. NAD accepts the hydrogen and forms NADH, or reduced NAD. In step four, the products are released along with NADH, which now can diffuse away and is able to donate the hydrogen, along with its electrons, to a different enzyme or other molecules. Other key coenzymes utilized during cellular respiration are coenzyme A, which plays a key role in the oxidation of pyruvate by the Krebs cycle. Remember, coenzyme A transfers acetate between molecules during aerobic respiration and FAD, or flavin adenine dinucleotide. NAD and FAD transfer hydrogen ions from one molecule to another and play key roles in redox reactions, since of course both NAD and FAD are able to give their protons and reduce molecules, and they can accept protons, i.e. oxidize molecules. In photosynthesis, the coenzyme utilized is NADP, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate. NADP is able to transfer hydrogen ions from one molecule to another NADP and is able to give hydrogen ions, i.e. reduce molecules, and accept hydrogen ions, i.e. oxidize molecules. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this short lesson on coenzymes. You'll come across these enzymes quite a lot whilst learning and revising photosynthesis and cellular respiration. So make sure you know them well. And until the next lesson, as always, take it easy.